Welcome. My name is Roland Robles, and today I'm going to be walking through SOLIDWORKS 2024 Weldment Structure Systems and Sheet Metal Functionality. What we're looking at is the cargo carrier system that's going to transport the bowhead off-road vehicle. What I'd first like to introduce is the, the ability to create the frame. To build this frame, we leverage the functionality inside our structure systems. Structure Systems gives you the ability to create weldment profiles in a much more seamless and direct manner. In this example, what we're going to do is take these predefined surfaces and leverage similar and easy path segments to build this frame. By simply highlighting the, the surfaces, I can then choose a weldment profile and on the fly start creating the members. Once I have my primary members created, I can start building our secondary members to add structure into the system. With the simple Q button, I have predefined some easy faces to generate these secondary members. Leveraging the structure systems, I can now go ahead and choose my secondary member and choose all the appropriate planes to auto-generate the structures and the profiles in between them. Once selected, we create member pairs by a simple selection of clicking on the profiles on the graphics pane. As I work my way through here, instead of having to choose the profile and also choose a 3D sketch, it becomes a, a much more seamless interface to generate the system. What you will notice is in SOLIDWORKS 2024, you have more functionality and an upgraded user interface to define how these weldment profiles are going to be connected. In this case, let's go ahead and jump into our more complex two member connections. With the updated user interface, you can quickly navigate and build the corner treatment much more efficiently. In this case, let's take a look at how we can trim these. I'm gonna add a little weld gap in here so you can see the preview of what we'll be creating. I can simply and easily navigate through either a in butt, a miter, or a brand new function for 2024 is the open gap, which in this case is gonna allow me for adding in a connector piece. Once selected, I can confirm out of my corner treatment and my weldment profile is built. Also new for SOLIDWORKS 2024 is the ability to add more custom information into the cut list properties of your weldment profiles. One of the things that I really like is the ability to tie in the units into the cut list property. In this example, we're going to go ahead and simply click on the unit for length. So that way, when my cut list is generated, not only do I get my cut length, but I'm going to get the cut length unit. Likewise, I can also apply cut uh, units into custom properties of the actual file itself. For example, I want to go ahead and choose my property for um, SOLIDWORKS mass. So that way, when I create my drawing, this mass will automatically populate. The neat thing about this, if you're like me, is a lot of times I jump back and forth between units depending on who I'm delivering this. So if I were to change this from my metric template into my inch pound second template, all of those appropriate properties are going to automatically update to confer with the correct unit that has been defined. Now that we have that, let's jump back over into our assembly and let's take a look at some of the new functionality in SOLIDWORKS Sheet Metal. In this case, let's build the sheet metal car cargo carrier liner. To do that, I'm going to first start off by simply creating a copy with mates to duplicate this first liner from the front side to the back side. Now what you're going to see is these, the sheet metal liner is being tabbed together using the tab and slot command. Now that I've added a new sheet metal component to the back side of this, what we will notice is the fact that my bottom piece of the liner does not have those tab and slots. New for SOLIDWORKS 2024 is the ability to propagate those tab and slots. By simply right clicking on that sheet metal component, I can now choose propagate slots 
and this will automatically propagate those tab in slots to the selected component. Now when I hide that component, you'll see that the tabs from the backside liner have now been pushed down to the bottom side of the liner. Let's drill down into the bottom of this and let's add in some mounting features for our bow head assembly. In this, I have predefined a sketch that I'm going to use to build a stamp without actually creating a stamping tool. Now for Solvers 2024, you will see a new tool called Stamp. This gives you the ability to use any closed profile to generate an indentation into the sheet metal feature, very similar to a form tool. In this case, I would like to go ahead and add a little bit of draft into my stamp feature and round off the appropriate corners to give it a nice clean aesthetic. Along with that, I can make this look even more realistic by adding corner radiuses to my stamp feature. Much like any other feature that we would be generating, you can duplicate this by using similar commands like linear pattern, sketch driven pattern, and mirror. In this case, let's go ahead and create a sketch driven pattern to duplicate that stamp across multiple uh, pieces of area on our part. By simply choosing my sketch to define the sketch pattern and choosing my stamp feature, I can now duplicate that for my bow, my bow head assembly to seamlessly and easily fit into the cargo carrier. Now, as we build this, Let's take a look at other functionality that is new for SOLIDWORKS 2024. Inside my cargo carrier assembly, I have these bezels for my light fixtures. New for SOLIDWORKS 2024 is a updated interface to create rip corners on cylindrical components. By simply selecting an edge, I can now come in here and choose my rip command and choose a simple selection of a sketch entity to build this rip in my component. Once I've selected the appropriate edge, all I need to do is choose a point to define the rip location, and then I'm gonna get an easy way to define this gap. I can leverage this either by using a dimension or even putting a predefined specified degree. In this case, I would like that rip to be symmetric about my 3D point. Once selected, I can go ahead and confirm and insert the bins to go ahead and flatten this piece out. SOLIDWORKS 2024 provides many enhancements to increase your productivity when leveraging weldment structure systems and SOLIDWORKS sheet metal.